Okay, welcome back to Coco DIYs where we are bringing you tips, tricks, and tutorials to make having fun affordable. And in today's video, we are doing a we're doing a balloon garden tutorial, and these are the colors that we are using. So we have a um, a Gmar light green, metallic light green. We have metallic ivory. We have metallic green. And then I also got metallic orange. Now I wanted this to be used as either a dino theme or a safari theme, but I'm not 100% sure about this color. Um, so I want to see how it looks once it's blown up. Um, if I don't like it, then I'm going to use my stash of Qualitex that I have and in gold. This is. I think the chrome gold Qualitex. So um, we're mainly working with 11 inch and 12 inch balloons, also some fives. And then I think I have some gold in like 24 inch or 18 inch. So, um, but that's if I use the gold. If I don't use the gold, then we're just working with the two sizes. So I'll see you guys on the other side. leave you guys with my top three takeaways from this video first um i made a decision today after assembling this garland that i'm no longer gonna make um triplet triplets of the balloons to fill in the gaps um i was doing triplets like this tying all the necks together and doing triplets but then it doesn't really give it like a 3d dynamic effect i was kind of going back and forth and playing around with 
should I do triplets or should I do quads? And so I think um, what I am gonna do is instead of triplets, I'm gonna start doing quads and just taking the two dupes that I have and either, you guys can either twist them together um, with my, like this, with my technique, I really, I really don't trust it. So that's just my personal opinion. Um, everybody, it's called balloon artistry for a reason. So everybody does things their own way. So I like to do is take two dupes and tie the necks of one of each dupe together to make my ooh, to make my quads. And so I'm gonna start doing this all the time to fill in the gaps because not only does it give it a more 3D effect when you are dealing with um, filling in gaps um, of the bigger balloons, but it also um, hides the neck. So on a triplicate, it's gonna look like this and you can see the neck in the middle, but on a quad, you can't see the neck. So I like that better. Uh, tip number two is um, using the 260 to attach the five inch balloons to your garland. Now you can use, I would say you can use fishing line, you can use um, balloon string. Everybody again has their own way. I prefer to use 260s. Um, and then I also thought of a new way that if you aren't using quads and say, this a little extra one. <laughs> if you aren't using quads, but say you have like maybe a tiny, tiny gap here, or you think like adding maybe one or two more balloons would kind of give it a better effect. I would say um, either use the technique of tying a balloon to one of these um, 117 extra large rubber bands. Um, you just would tie the balloon to that and then um, and then place this around one of the large balloons and that would secure that in place. But if you don't have rubber bands or you don't want to spend the money on rubber bands but you already have 260s, what you can do is tie your 260 and make it mimic a rubber band. So I always like to start at the closed end and kind of stretch it out like so and then make a knot like that and then you can tie one of these necks to your single neck and voila so you can use that to add any size single balloon or any size quad to a garland that um, that has gaps or has like little places that you want to um, fill in. And for my last tip, when you guys are adding accents to your garland, um, like the leaves or um, any kind of flowers, anything with a stem that's um, that's stiff or hard and pokey and can puncture the balloons, um, I always recommend if you can to either take some pliers or if you can do it with your hand and curl the ends of the accent that you're adding because you would, the last thing you want to do is to puncture your um, puncture your balloons and then your whole entire garland is ruined. So either um, curl the ends, wrap the ends with tape. Um, you can also wrap the ends with a balloon, like tie a little five inch balloon to the end so then that way it's not as, um, Mm, it's not as dangerous basically and um yeah i mean for my fourth tip just uh stay crafty and i'll see you guys next time